Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be finally sharing with you what I think of the new Fenty Beauty products. I've had quite a few of you all reach out to me either on Instagram or on um, some previous videos just asking me if I was going to do a video on it. And honestly, <laughs> I really wasn't checking for Fenty Beauty when it came out. I'm just going to be 100% honest on this because y'all know I was pretty much on a no buy. Um, but then I saw that they came out with 40 shades of foundation and they were just very inclusive with the shades so when i saw that i really wanted to support because we can complain about not being included or you know being overlooked when it comes to uh, the beauty industry but when we are included our skin tones are included if we don't support then it it means nothing our complaints only only money means something in the business industry <laughs> So if we don't, if we just complain and we don't actually spend money when somebody does include us, then that just looks bad and it, it's not going to get us where we want to be. Um, so all my little soapbox there, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's why I decided to go out and purchase some of the Fenty Beauty products. Um, I just really impressed that she was able to start out with 50 shades. I mean, I'm sorry, not 50 shades. What am I thinking about? <laughs> 40 40 shades of foundation and she is a brand new company so kudos to her for that so um that should let some of these other makeup companies that have been established a while know that you don't need to only come out with like 12 shades at a time you know you have all this all these resources why can't you come out with more shades for more skin tones so that's that so anyway that's what made me want to try it. I decided to go ahead and pick up a few other items too. And um, the reason I'm just now getting to film this video is because when Fenty Beauty came out, you know, everybody had a video. Like the same day it launched, like everybody had a video. And I kind of even got tired of seeing them in my feed. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> but um, so I figured since everybody was doing first impressions and showing swatches and all that, then. I didn't really need to do that and plus I just had so much stuff going on anyway. Actually when Fenty Beauty released we were preparing for Irma so I could have cared less about Fenty Beauty at that point. Um, Hurricane Irma. So anyway um, I decided that when I did pick up the products I was just going to do a full review and kind of show you guys how I used it and uh, hopefully this is more helpful for for you than some of the other like first impressions plus i know a lot of you all just want to see my take on it so i appreciate that and let's go ahead and get into the video so first up we're going to start with the foundation and this is called the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation i picked mine up in the shade 370. now because this foundation has so many shades it is a bit difficult to find your perfect shade because i just feel like when there's so many options you want to find it you want it to be as perfect as possible because you probably will be able to get your perfect match if that makes sense so i picked it up in the shade 370 i don't know if it's the most perfect match for me but when i tried it out in the store this one blended into my skin and i couldn't detect the difference when i got this home initially i thought it was a bit too light for me however um once i bronze up and all i think it looks good and I think it'll work for me as a year-round shade as opposed to just a like summer or just a winter shade. So I'm happy with the shade that I chose. I also tried 390 like out on my hand and I just felt like this one matched a little bit more. So that's that. I definitely would recommend that you go into a store and try this out um, if you're curious. Because I initially thought I would be 390 by looking at the descriptions. When I went in store, 370 seemed like it was a better match. So on me, this foundation is a bit too matte. So I feel like I have to apply it with a illuminating primer or and ha make sure that my face is fully moisturized. Now my skin is normal, uh, it's not oily, but if you have oily skin, you may not need to prep so much for this. But I felt after wearing this for about, I've been wearing this foundation now for about three weeks. So I've gone through trying it so many different ways and I found that the best way for me is to use a good moisturizer, which I always do, and use an illuminating primer underneath it or a, um, a liquid illuminator underneath it just to give me that radiance that I like. So the pros of this foundation I would say is that I like the finish that it gives. It looks really flawless without looking cake face as long as <laughs> as long as you apply it the right way um like i said um 
I use the Illuminating Primer, but then I also make sure to use a Beauty Blender with this. I tried it with a brush and I felt like it was just too much for me. Now, if you like fuller coverage or you have oilier skin, you know, find out what works for you. But for me, with the Beauty Blender and Illuminating Primer, we're definitely a must for this. Um, I also feel like I have to spray this one after I'm done. I don't have to, but I like the way that it looks when I use a setting spray or like a Fix Plus or whatever after I'm done with application. I just feel like that helps to bring some of the radiance back for me. But that's just a matter of preference really. So the other big pro of this foundation, it's probably the biggest thing that I like about it besides the shade selection, is that it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. It's so lightweight and I get medium to full coverage from it and it feels like nothing on my skin. It doesn't feel sticky. I don't need to set this. Um, yeah, I just, it's really impressive that it feels like nothing, but then when I look at myself, it definitely looks like something. So, <laughs> so um, those are the pros for me. Cons for this foundation is that if I don't properly prepare my face or I don't use a, um, a primer, then I feel like it kind of would accentuate any texture on my face and look dry and matte. Now, when I've tried this without a primer or without like an illuminating primer, it looked dry too dry on my skin initially but then after about an hour or two it looked fine um, but I prefer my makeup to look how I want it to look when I first apply it so that's why I do those preparatory steps but um yeah keep that in mind if your skin type is similar to mine so overall I do think this foundation is a hit I like the finish I like the feel and I like the shade selection I definitely think it's worth a try also, I almost forgot to mention that I actually use this as a concealer too. So what I do is I apply one layer all over my face. Just one pump is all I use. Um, you can go, I've seen people applying like four pumps, but one pump is enough for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have a small face or something, but anyway. So I put one pump all over my face and then I put like a half a pump or I, I have a hard time doing a half a pump so usually I end up wasting half of it but I put one pump and just put it underneath my eyes and it helps to conceal I then go over it with a like highlighter the MAC um, prep and prime what's it called it's called MAC prep and prime highlighter and dark and that just kind of helps to um, give me that lifted appearance appearance because this is the same shade as my skin tone so I was going to talk about next the matchstick um products which i got the trio but i'm gonna say that for the end because i'm gonna show you how i usually wear these i don't typically wear these with this foundation so i'm gonna save that for the end so let's go ahead and talk about the infamous trophy wife highlighter so this for me i have to admit i don't really like it i am wearing it on my eyes today and i'm gonna show you clips of that um but it's just too much glitter um it's just I'm not into glitter. I could wear this as a highlighter maybe if I was going to a club or something. I don't know but I don't go to clubs so um, it's just it's too much glitter for me. Even if I just tap it on I find that I find the glitter flex all over my face. When I use it on my eyes I do get glitter fallout. I don't have a glitter glue. I've heard that something like that will help but I don't have that so I just use like a, a makeup setting mist and use that to wet it and apply it. And that decreases the fallout but I still do get glitter fallout on my skin so honestly I wish I wouldn't have purchased this and I wasn't planning on purchasing it but I don't know I felt like I needed to so I wish I wouldn't have purchased this and I feel like it's too late for me to return it so I'll probably just keep it and use it for eyeshadow every now and then but for me this was a miss I did pick up one of the highlighter duos and this is called this is in the shade me money and hustler baby which is the champagne one. And I've seen a lot of people really raving about this one, which is Hustler Baby, the more shimmery one. Um, but I actually like both. So you'll see in the demo, I apply one to one side of my face and the other one to the other side of my face. So I have Mean Money over here, the more subtle one. And then on this side, I have Hustler Baby. And I do like both. Um, so I like that they included both. I've used them mixed together. I've used them separately. It just kind of depends on what the rest of my face is doing and what I'm about to do on, you know, which one I prefer. But I do really like the formula of these. They feel almost creamy. Um, 
do you need it not necessarily because if you're like me you probably already have a ton of highlighters but i do think it's a good product and i'm happy that i bought it so i would classify this one as a hit next product that i picked up is the gloss and i'm wearing it right now and i absolutely love it it's natural looking but it just gives me a little bit of oomph and it's really shiny feels really good smells really good like um i don't know what it smells like like oh i know what it smells like the mamba candy i don't know if y'all know what it is from back in the day it's in the long white package i think it's called mamba but to me it smells like one of those but it smells really good to me um and it's not an overpowering scent like i only smell it when i initially apply it i don't smell it throughout the day so if you're sensitive to smell i don't think you're gonna have an issue with this but i really really like this this is definitely a gloss that i could see myself keeping in my purse and the only reason i haven't been doing that as of yet is because i've been holding all these products to the side for review but I've worn this gloss quite a lot. Right, so lastly, I'm going to talk about this Match Sticks Trio. And these are sold in individually. She has a ton of shades. I did pick up the Trio because it's a better deal and I thought I would like it. Um, I picked the Trio up in tan, I believe. Um, I'll list it down below because I don't have the box anymore. But it came with the shades Caramel, Rum, and Truffle. So let's talk about each of these. First, I'm going to talk about Truffle, which is the contour shade that it comes with. This one here. And you'll see, I did, I am wearing this one now. And you'll see in my application that I can, I use this one with the Fenty foundation. I don't have any problems with it. I do find that it blends out better with a brush, like a stippling brush or any type of brush, really. I've used it with multiple brushes and I feel like it blends out well with that. It takes a little bit longer than what I would like to blend out, um, but it does blend out well with that. I find that when I use a beauty blender, I feel like it just takes too much of the product away. So I do like it. And as you can see, that's pretty dark. So um, even though it looks dark on the swatch, I feel like it blends out really well and looks really nice. Uh, so for me, this one is a hit. Now the last two matchsticks I did not use when I applied the foundation and that's because what the way that I found that I like to use them is on my really natural days. So in my opinion, well let me show you the swatches first. So this is caramel which is the, the concealer type shade. And then I got rum which is like a highlight right there. So the way that I've been getting my use out of these is on really natural days when I'm in a rush, I will just go ahead and apply caramel underneath my eyes and any places that I want to spot conceal. And I blend it out with my fingers because I feel like that helps to really melt the product down and give me an easier blend and not feel drying to the skin. Now again, I have normal skin. If you have oily, then you probably already have those natural oils to work with. But for me, I found that using my fingers gives me the best finish. So yeah, I apply it underneath my eyes and any spots that I feel like I need to conceal on my face. And then I apply the highlighter stick on my cheekbones and maybe on my forehead or whatever. And that's it. I don't even set this. Like <laughs> now, keep in mind, this is for a really natural day. So this is if I'm going to take my son to daycare or go to the grocery store or whatever. But I feel like it just gives me that really nice look. Of course i i do apply mascara and eyebrows with it but other than that i don't use anything else like blush and all that this is for days when i just want to look like i got some rest um like i don't want my dark circle showing but i don't want to do too much i find that when i apply these products in particular over the foundation it's just a little bit too drying it's just too much matte on top of matte for me uh, oily skin girls that may be great for you but for me it just looks like too much matte um, I can get away with the contour shade all right so hopefully everything looks the same I did have to take a little break because my camera overheated so <laughs> um, but I, I think I left off talking about the matte sticks the caramel and rum and how I've liked them for really really natural days and you'll see it in the demonstration as well but I do think that I do like these products. Uh, if you have dry skin, I don't know if these are gonna work for you because you don't wanna be like tugging underneath your eyes unless unless you're just gonna use the concealer one like on your face. If you have really dry like under eyes, 
I don't know if I would recommend this, especially if you're only going to use it with a brush. Like I said, I, I like to use it with my hands and I feel like that just gives it more maneuverability. <laughs> so yeah, so I do like these and I'm glad that I got them. So they're a hit, but do I think they're a must? Mm. All right, so that's all that I picked up from Fenty Beauty. Um, the only other thing that I saw that seemed interesting to me was the blot powder, but I didn't get it because I really don't use blot powders that often, so. <laughs> but it looks like it will be a good product. And then also there's another highlighter combination that I like, the Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, and I kind of want to get that, so maybe I will eventually. But overall, I was really impressed with the foundation. I think Rihanna and her team did a great job for starting a new line, coming out with a ton of products, having a ton of different shades to include everybody. And I only showed you like a small portion of the collection. If you just look for Fenty Beauty, there are tons of things you could get from that, um, get from the line. So definitely check them out. I'm really impressed. I'm a fan. And I'm just really proud of Rihanna for this. Um, so overall, for the products that I chose, um, the foundation was a hit, the gloss was a hit, the highlighter, the Trophy Wife highlighter was a miss for me, the Mean Money Hustler Baby was a hit for me, and then the Matchsticks were hits for me. So, like I said, all hits, only one miss, the Trophy Wife. Um, but for me, even though some of these products were hits, were they necessarily must-haves? No, not in my opinion. For me, the must-haves from the line were the foundation, definitely, and the gloss. Those were my two favorite products. So if you guys have any questions, then make sure you leave it in the comments below. If you've tried any of these products, share it in the comments below just so other people can read that and see how it worked out for you, especially if you have oily skin. Uh, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.